What's up guys, really exciting day here today. I just got back from vacation and I saw that the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak has been released. So let's jump right into the how-to guide and how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So there are a couple things I want to discuss guys, there are a couple of quirks with this jailbreak and I am going to be discussing why I am holding off on actually jailbreaking my device. First off, a lot of you guys might actually be wondering which devices does this iOS 10 jailbreak officially support? Well it does officially support the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S Plus, and the iPad Pro. I have my iPhone 6S here and it really is exciting that we have a jailbreak now officially for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Along with that, this jailbreak will work on iOS 10.1 or iOS 10.1.1 on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. This also will work on the iOS 10.0.1 firmware all the way up to the 10.1.1 firmware on the 6S, the 6S Plus, and the iPad Pro. So if you are on an iPhone 7, you have to be on iOS 10.1 or iOS 10.1.1. If you are on an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, or iPad Pro, you will need to be on 10.0.1 to 10.1.1. So those are the bare minimum requirements, guys. If you have any other devices or any other firmwares, it will not work. The jailbreak also will work on a Windows machine, a Mac machine, or a Linux machine. So basically you will need a computer, but it is good news to know that it works on all the major operating systems out there. So as you guys can see, I actually already have my iPhone 6S jailbroken here on 9.3.3. I'm just going to use this for visual purposes because I will not be jailbreaking iOS 10 just yet. There are a couple reasons for that and I will be showing you guys why. First off, the jailbreak exploits were only released last week and Luca Tedesco just happened to package them up very quickly this weekend and that's why it was released yesterday as you guys can see this is his actual website he's calling the jailbreak Yalu and if you zoom in you can say he says do not install unless you know what you are doing so really you stand a pretty good chance of messing up your device if you actually go ahead and install this without knowing what you're doing it is a beta jailbreak which means it's not fully compatible not all of the bugs have been worked out and this does actually work but it is a little bit sketchy you might actually risk messing up your device if you you don't really know what you're doing and worst of all if it doesn't work you will have to restore and you will have to upgrade your firmware to iOS 10.2 and you will not have access to iOS 10.1.1 anymore, which is the firmware that you can jailbreak. So I'm gonna be holding off for a couple of days here, see if they release a final jailbreak with a patch to all of the bugs that they have been working out over the past couple of days. Really, I would not recommend doing this, guys. I know some of you are just gonna be like, oh no, I can just go do it anyway, it works. I really would not recommend it. I'm just making this video because I let you guys know any of the updates about the jailbreaks. I'm waiting myself. I will be jailbreaking my iPhone 7, not the 6S here, as I already am jailbroken to 9.3.3. And you really don't want to lose access to the iOS 10.1.1 firmware. It will make your device more valuable to be jailbroken if you actually go to sell it, or just if you want to use it for yourself as a jailbroken device. Do not attempt this. It might actually brick your device or force you to upgrade your firmware. I highly recommend listening to Luca Tedesco. This is the developer, so really I think we should listen to him. If you are a developer and you do know what you're doing, you can go ahead and do this, but most of you guys are average users. I would recommend holding off for now, but it is great news. This basically means we should have a stable release in the next couple of days. Once that stable release is jailbroken, I will be posting a how-to guide, but the process is very, very similar. As you guys know on this 9.3.3 jailbreak, you really just have to load an application through Cydia Impact or through the computer onto your device, run it, and it jailbroke your device, and then you would have Cydia. Essentially, the process is very similar to that. Again, I'm not going to be doing a how-to guide until we have a stable release, but it is great news to know that we have all of the modern devices able to be jailbroken. The iOS 10 firmware has officially been jailbroken, and I'll be doing the guide in a few days to get you guys up and running with all your favorite jailbreak apps and tweaks on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I do have my giveaway results for the Super Mario giveaway coming up later this weekend. I will be posting it and who the winner is. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Stick around for that. Also be sure to follow me on all my social networks and all the cool links I have down there in the description for you guys to check out. And as always guys, stay awesome. Thank you for visiting the Macintosh Review and I will catch you next time. Peace.